was plunged in darkness, in a land surrounded by the extravagant Roman and promiscuous Persian empires, in an economically, politically, socially, militarily, ethically, and spiritually downtrodden Arabia, in an idol-worshipping, superstitious, ignorant, backward, barbaric, and misogynistic city, came a man, a light, who was set to change it all, a man who was sent as a mercy to mankind, a man who was to become the most influential human being to ever walk the face of this earth. Sir George Bernard Shaw named him the savior of humanity. Thomas Carlyle called him a silent great soul. Dr. William Draper pronounced that he exercised the greatest influence upon the human race. Reverend Bosworth Smith observed that he was the head of state as well as the church. He was Caesar and Pope in one. W. Montgomery Watt remarked that none of the great figures of history is so poorly appreciated in the West as him. Alphonse de la Martine asked, who could dare to compare any great man in modern history with him? He was the best of all prophets, to whom came the best of all angels, with the best of all books, in the best of all languages, with a message for the whole of mankind of all times. His name was Muhammad. Peace be upon him. He was, was, uh, was balanced with the Prophet. He had beautiful hair. He had very wavy black hair. It wasn't curly, it wasn't straight, because everything about him is balanced. So even his hair was balanced. It wasn't straight and it wasn't curly. The extremes, those are two extremes of hair. You have curly hair, you have straight hair. His was right in the middle of those two extremes. He had wavy hair, parted in the middle. It went sometimes to the bottom of the earlobe, sometimes to his shoulders. He had a very, very beautiful uh, complexion. Uh, they said it was like the moon. He was not pasty white. No, he had a reddish uh, tint to his complexion. Uh, he had beautiful eyes. He had very, very white. His whites, what they call ophthalmologists in America, call happy eyes. When the, they are very white. He had very, very white. The whites of his eyes were very white. And then he had very striking dark eyes. He had a beautiful aquiline nose, which is an aristocratic nose uh, in, in many, many cultures. An aquiline nose is seen as a, a beautiful nose. And the Prophet ﷺ had a beautiful uh, forehead. And he had very strong, he had broad shoulders, he was very strong, and he had beautiful, he had a very small, light uh, hair that went down, and, but he wasn't hairy at all. He was, his body was very, um, uh, his skin was, did, he did not have a lot of uh, body hair, but he had very slight uh, hair on his, on his chest that went down to his navel. Very strong legs, he had strong hands. Um, he walked in a very distinct way. Those are all qualities that if you study them, you. It actually makes you want to see him. You want, I want to see that. I want to experience that. Salam alayka, ya Rasul, salam alayka. Ya Nabi, salam alayka, ya Rasul, salam alayka. Salam Sabir, 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 
And write that which is and that which shall be. In the tradition with the Prophet that the first thing that Allah Ta'ala created was the pen, qalam, that which Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala swore by. And Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala instructs the pen, uktub, write, write. The pen asks Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala, what shall I write? What shall I scribe? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Uktub ma huwa ka'in wa ma sayyakun. Write that which is and that which shall be. That which is and that which shall be. In another version of the tradition, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Uktub, write. And the pen says, Ma da aktub, what shall I write? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Uktub, la ilaha illallah. Write, la ilaha illallah. Muhammad Rasulullah. Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. The pen inquires to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Waman Muhammad. Who is Muhammad? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Muhammad, he is the one that if it was not for him, I wouldn't have created you. So you would have not have been created if it was not for him. So you would have not have been created if it was not for him. That's the pen that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears by. But one of the reasons why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to swear by that pen is in order to introduce you to the Great One Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam وَإِنَّكَ لَعَلَى خُلُقٍ عَظِيمٍ The very you are عَلَى خُلُقٍ عَظِيمٍ Beyond what is called tremendous character عَظِيمٍ Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wa Sahi Wa Sallam The nature of the human being, man because we seek guidance from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wa Sallam and we have to know something about ourselves Now it's not just being lost in literal statements like مَنْ عَرَفَ نَفْسَ عَرَفَ رَبَّا that whoever knows himself knows his Lord. But what is the prism by virtue of which we know ourselves? And what is the prism by virtue of which we know our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala? And it's impossible from the awwaleen or from the akhireen for anybody to arrive at Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save by virtue of the great gateway, the Prophet himself sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I.e. to simplify the equation, if you do not know him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you cannot know yourself. And if you do not know him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you cannot know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so the business is serious. The endeavor to know who the Prophet sallallahu wa sallam is. You come into knowledge of him. And this is a month where we have to come into something. Into life, real life. Part of life in the month of Rabi'ah, the spring, the first spring, the premier spring, is bringing ourselves back to life 
bihi by virtue of him sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam man you me i all of us with the juxtaposition of physical realm the juxtaposition of what of the metaphysical realm spirit and body combined the supreme universe tahsabukum annaka jismun saghir wa fi katwi alalam alakbar sayyidina ali radhiyallahu anhu said you consider yourself an insignificant being but in you the entire cosmos has been gathered in you exists the entire universe